Hello students, welcome to your e-learning classes of Asansol North Point School. Today we are going to study the second poem that is there in your Honeysuckle textbook and the name of the poem is The Kite written by Harry Bell. So today first we are going to read a quick introduction about the poet. Harry Ben, 1898 to 1973. Harry Ben was born on September 24, 1898 in Yavapai County, Arizona. He graduated from Howard University with an SB in 1922. He worked as a scenario writer for motion pictures and was chiefly associated with King Bedore's films. He founded the University of Arizona Press in 1960. He published his first book of poetry, Siesta, in 1931. And at the urging of his children began writing children's books. In 1949, he published The Little Hill, which was a book of poetry for children. He died on September 6, 1973. So this was the quick introduction about the poet Harry Ben. Now let's move on to the source like a ship with a sail as over tides of wind it rides, climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls, then seems to rest as wind falls. Soars means fly high. Climbs to go up. Sail a cloth on a ship or a boat used to catch wind and help the boat to propel. Tides rising and falling waves. Crest mountain top or a tuft of feathers on the head of a bird or animal. So these few lines, this means such moves help it to fly in the sky, just waves rising and falling with the sudden blow of the wind. It goes up to the highest point in the sky in a wavy manner, the way a ship moves on the ocean. But as soon as the wind slows down, it seems as if it has stopped there to rest. So these are the explanation of these few lines. When string goes slack, you wind it back and run until a new breeze blows and its wings fill and up it goes. Slack means lose. What is the meaning of these few lines? When the thread tied to the kite loosens, the flyer runs and rolls it back. He waits till a new breeze blows again and fills its wings with air again to help it fly high. How bright on the blue is a sky when it's new, but a raggeder thing you will, you never will see when it flaps on a string. 
in the top of a tree. Raggeder means torn or tattered. So what does these few lines mean? A kite looks very bright and beautiful on a clear sky. But when it gets stuck on a tree top, it gets torn and gives a poor worn out look which is not liked by anyone. So these are the explanations for your poem The Kite. So now the full summary of the poem we will be studying. A kite looks bright on a clear sky when it flies for the first time. This means when a kite is flying high up in the clear sky for the first time it looks very bright. It moves with softness and force together at the same time to fly makes its tail to create a cracking sound in the air. You will find that when a kite is flying high up in the sky then the tail of the kite is creating a cracking sound in the air. Okay. So, you will find whenever a kite is flying high up in the sky, first of all it looks very beautiful. When the kite is flying in the clear sky high above and it is also creating a cracking sound with its tail when it is flying high above in the sky. Such moves help it to float in the sky just waves rising and falling with the sudden blow of the strong wind. It goes up to the highest point in the sky in a wavy manner the way a ship moves on the ocean. But as soon as the wind slows down, it seems as if it has stopped there to rest. So, here what is happening? When the uh, kite is flowing high above in the sky, it is once rising up and again it is coming down due to the sudden blow of the strong winds. Okay? When the sky is at the highest point in the sky, then at that time it is moving in a wavy manner just as a ship moves on the ocean. Over here, there is a comparison being done. The kite is being compared with the ship that is on the sea or that is moving on the ocean. And the strong winds are being compared with the waves that are on the ocean. Okay. So, here what is happening? Just as a ship moves up and down when it is moving on the ocean, just because of the waves, because the waves once it is rising up, again it is coming down. Same here. The kite, when it is moving high up in the sky, it is also moving in the same manner. Once it is going up, next it is coming down. And when the sky, uh, when the kite is at the highest point in the sky, that time it seems as if it has stopped there in order to take some rest. Because since it has gone up high above in the sky at the highest point that's why it seems as if it is just waiting there for some time or as if it is stopping there for some time in order to take some rest all right so when the thread tied to the sky to the kite loosens the flyer runs and rolls it back he waits till a new air blows again and fills its wings with air again to help it to fly. So, whenever you are flying a kite, you will find that the flyer runs and rolls it back when the kite loosens. That means when the 
kite gets loosened that time the flyer he runs and rolls the kite back and he waits until a new breeze or until a new air blows again and that fills the wings of the kite again in order to help it fly in order to help the kite fly high above in the sky once again okay a kite looks very bright and beautiful on a clear sky but when it gets stuck on a tree top it get torn and gives a poor worn out look which is not liked by anyone so here in this picture you can see that when a kite is flying high above in the sky in the clear sky then it looks very bright and beautiful and here in this picture you will find that when the kite gets stuck on the tree top it gets torn over here you can see in the picture that the kite is torn and this gives a poor worn out look to the kite which is not liked by anyone because everyone likes a new bright kite flying high above in the clear sky nobody will like a kite which has got stuck on the tree top and it is torn okay so this was your poem the kite thank you everyone for joining the class we will be meeting in the next video with some new topic